<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, Frilici Friday. And I feel like I say this most every Friday, but the sun is shining. It is going to be a beautiful weekend, at least here in Michigan, like sunny Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which in the wintertime, we do not get three consecutive days of sun in a row. So um, it's like springtime around here. So yeah, pretty darn awesome. So hopefully you guys have all had a good couple of weeks. I know um, it's been busy around here, lots and lots of basketball and fun stuff going on. So finally, I can say that like last year at this time, that was all I was talking about was basketball. Although, you know, the kind of funny thing is, hey, Sharon, hello, welcome. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what's today's date? Yeah, it was like right about like almost exactly like at this point where um, COVID started, everybody's talking about that, right? Um, but for us, um, it was the day of like the final district champion or yeah like the final district championship game that we were going to be able to play and then then it was like okay no hey Philomena you're not going to be well you can play but only like parents can come watch the game and then as the day progressed it became nope we're like done no more basketball so anyway it was kind of like this like reliving that whole oh that was such a bummer because the boys were on a roll and we were super excited so anyway we're hopeful for this year we start district basketball play next week um actually they have a bye so they don't have to play on tuesday so they'll play on thursday their first game so super excited about that and hopefully they can go um, as far as they possibly can in this basketball tournament and meanwhile the ncaa tournament is on so sorry guys i know i'm like super like on the basketball um and you guys want to talk about stamping right but <laughs> anyway i'm just super excited about the the tournament right this the ncaa basketball tournament i got my picks all made i got my michigan sweatshirt on we are ready to go ready for some hoops starting probably right about now it's starting it usually um is on like all day um, so it'll all be all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday this year, which is a little bit different. So Michigan plays tomorrow, so Saturday first game, and then so Monday would be their second game. I'm hope, hoping, I don't want to say I'm assuming, but, you know, cross our fingers um, that they win their game on Saturday and they'll be playing on Monday. And I don't know, I have them going the whole way, so we'll see. We've got one player that's out, so I don't know what's going to happen with that, but... Hey, Nikki. Hello. Welcome. So yeah. Okay. So sorry. Got like way off. I wasn't even going to like talk about all that stuff, but I guess it's obviously on my brain and I'm excited. So um, today we are playing with the <clears throat> Butterfly Bouquet suite of products. So I've got my little, um, I printed this out in color. So we've got the beautiful butterfly um, stamp set and dies. I'm going to tell you there was a designer series paper. So I um, designed my projects earlier this week and then I hopped online yesterday to print out um, some of the designer series paper so that I could show you guys up close and it has already sold out. This was one of, so this kind of suite of products um, <clears throat> is kind of an early release of next year's or our next annual catalog product. So the stamp set and the dies are going to carry over. So those will keep, you know, those continue to be available. But unfortunately, that beautiful, and it really was very pretty, the Butterfly Bayou Designer Series paper has already sold out. So hopefully you got a package of that while you could. Um, but honestly, I'm going to show you, we've got lots of other Designer Series paper that you could use on the projects that I made for you. Um, so lots of like interchangeable, beautiful um, kind of, looks and color schemes um yeah so it's not it won't be a big deal um anyway we just kind of have to get over okay if you didn't get it nothing we can do about it now there's lots of other good stuff to play with so but i just wanted to kind of mention that because i was bummed too because i was super excited to um show you guys all these projects and we actually are make and takes from um, the meeting this month, I'm going to show you guys those, um, you know, those use that designer series paper, but again, the whole suite too. So the stamp set and the dies, the dies are amazing. There are so many dies in there. Um, where are they? I guess they're right here. I will show you those because it's pretty darn cool, really. Hello, uh, happy Friday to you as well, Miss Susan. So this is the um, Butterfly Brilliance stamp. I'm going to call it stamp set, but really, because when you look at it, you think it's a bunch of different butterflies. But this is really cool. I gotta show you guys this. It's one full stamp. So how about that? All of those butterflies, right, fit right on my one big clear block. I think this is letter E. 
Can I get my, maybe AF. <laughs> I'm trying to do that without my, I think it's AF. Anyway, big clear block AF. It's like um, for any of your background stamps, you'd use this big clear block. Hello, Vina. Welcome, welcome. So anyway, very cool, right? So we've got the stamp. One big stamp that will stamp all of those butterflies for you. <laughs> yeah, butterflies are your favorite. I know they're, especially this time of year, right? They're just kind of a thing that everybody loves. Okay, so then let's see, where is, um, here we go. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like totally off camera, but I'll show you because I actually already stamped these for our project. But I'm, I'm like, I can't not show you guys all this stuff. So there, that is um, with black memento ink, just ink up your stamp and put it down onto the basic white cardstock. And then this is the super duper cool thing is we have this one die in here that when you lay it on here, and I'll show you guys this later, we'll actually cut these out, but because I don't know if I have it set exactly on there, right? But that one die will cut out all six of those butterflies all at once, right? Hello, Diana, welcome. So that's just one of the dies that's in there. And I guess that was my point in like talking about this because I want to show you guys all the other dies. So check out a bunch of other beautiful detailed, look at all of the detail in those butterflies. We use this big um, butterfly on one of the projects I'm going to show you later. So you'll be able to see that and get a real flavor for things. And then these are the other dies. So you've got a couple of little baby butterflies, a little bit bigger one. And then honestly, I haven't even run these things. I, they kind of look like, like brick wall or something. Um, so whatever those things are, we'll have to, I'll figure that out at some point. <laughs> Diane, this is a must have. Yes, it is. So let me tell you guys, um, let me give you some info, right? What do we have? So we've got the stamp set is $17. The butterfly wings dies are pricey. They are $44, but it's because you get so many dies in there. Um, there's also the bundle where you can get the stamp set and the dies together, and that is $54.75. So they do give you that 10% discount when you buy the stamp set and the dies together, okay? Um, so yeah, we're gonna have some fun. I'll show you more of that later. Um, in the meantime, now that I've totally made a mess of everything, uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm gonna stay on track. Um, let's do our first drawing. I think I saw that maybe either Philomena or Vina has already shared the video. So thank you so much for sharing. You guys know that I truly love and appreciate when you do that for me because it always helps me reach new stampers. It's so fun because one of the cool things is I'll see, um, you know, once you're sharing the video, then um, people hear me say, if you share the video, your name goes in the drawing that we're gonna do in just a sec. Or if you're brand new to me and you haven't already signed up for my email list, that's the other way you get your name in the drawing. And each week I'll have new people signing up um, for my um, email list. So I'm thinking, okay, that's how I'm getting these um, new friends that are following me through email too, is um, through your sharing. So I truly, truly appreciate that. So as always, I've got my little um, Stampin' Up! little trash bag right here. We have lots and lots of names in the drawing. We are giving away the, this is the Rococo Rose Gathered Ribbon perfect ribbon for all of your springtime projects. I'm trying to like, I feel like I need to, I, I should have put my camera up a little bit higher so I feel like I'm being cut off. So I'm <laughs> trying to like bend down as I show you guys this. I feel really funny like squatting. But anyway, so this is the beautiful ribbon. It's just gorgeous. And like I said, perfect for um, spring, Easter, Mother's Day, all those beautiful kind of feminine um, pastel colored projects that you might have. So your name is in this basket right here. If you shared the video, so thank you very much for your sharing, or if you're new to me and sign up for my email list. And you also get a free PDF tutorial when you sign up for my email list. Ah, hello, Miss Tammies. Well, thanks for um, popping in real quick. Um, good luck at the ortho specialist. Yikes, that all I think of um, when you say ortho specialist, all I see are dollar signs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, Nikki, I have heard other people saying that they have done that. So what Nikki just posted on there is she ordered another butterfly stamp set because she wants to be able to stamp the butterflies individually. So she's gonna take her scissors and she's gonna cut these things all apart. So then she's got six individual butterfly stamps. So that's a good idea too. You, I, I think it's kind of crazy, but I do get it. Like if you just wanted one butterfly and there wasn't a way to kind of like cover up the other one. So I can see why there'd be a need for that. So yeah, you might consider getting the bundle and then another stamp set so you can cut your butterflies up too. So sorry, I got like off tangent there. 
because I'm like, ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> ah, how funny. Susan did too, and she's doing surgery later tonight. Perfect. All right. That was, I've got a few of them like stacked up, so I gotta, I gotta pull them apart here. Hold on one sec. Because <clears throat> I want to make sure everybody gets a fair chance. Okay. All right, good. Now they're all, they're all bounced around in here. Okay, so the lucky winner for sharing or signing up for my email list is Miss Vina Gomez. Congratulations, Vina. She's always a good supporter and share of the video. So thank you so much, Vina, for sharing. And I will get your beautiful Rococo Rose Gathered Ribbon mailed out to you. All right, I'm gonna dump those out of the way. And I just wanna put the names in the drawing for the next one right now. Sharon, this funny thing, I wonder what it's always saying. Sharon Greening is watching and it keeps like popping up again and again and again. So I don't know what it is about that. That happened a couple of weeks ago too. So I don't know what you do there, but <laughs> anyway, I know you're here, Sharon. I definitely know you're here. So, okay, so this week um, on our next Facebook Live, we will be giving away, these are the star designer elements. And it's funny because I kind of kept these thinking, you know, just for like Christmassy projects, but I think you could have some fun even like this summer, um, like 4th of July projects. Um, I don't know, it, I think um, like you just have to like open your mind up a little bit to move beyond Christmas. Cause these were, I think originally in like our holiday catalog a couple of years ago, carried over to our annual catalog. And I was like, oh, these are just so pretty. I love the kind of bronze color to them too. So <laughs> yes, you're so very welcome, Mina. So anyway, this is what we will be giving away on our next Facebook Live, right? So Sh Sharon's saying, I find you on Facebook and start watching. And then she uses one of those. I have to find that emoji, that little like lady that does that thing. Cause I think it's pretty funny. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I don't know either. Anyway, okay. So share this Facebook Live video anytime between now and next Thursday at midnight or sign up for my email list and your name will go in the drawing next Friday for our star designer elements. All right, um, what else do we have going on? Oh, you know, I have to give a congratulations, a shout out to one of our new Inkspired Stampers. Her name is Jenny Bothman, and she has already reached her $300 quarterly minimum. She just bought the Starter Kit during Celebration, um, and she has put her order in, and like I said, already reached her, reached her first $300 quarterly minimum. So she's on her way. She's, we have something called quick start too, which I should mention, cause I think it's kind of fun for everybody to know this. Um, once you buy the starter kit, which you know is always an awesome deal, even right now, even not during celebration, it's still an amazing deal because you always get to pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. And then you get your 20% discount on everything that you order after that. So Jenny obviously did that, put her first order in, met her quarterly minimum, and she's on her way to, <coughs> excuse me, reaching her first quick start level, which that means when she gets to $900 in sales, if she does that in her first full three months after she bought the starter kit. So for example, I think Jenny bought the starter kit in um, February. So if you put an order in February, great, but the clock doesn't actually start ticking until March 1st. So she has March, April, May. So by May 31st, if she has $900 in sales, um, she will become a qualified team member. So through my group, she actually gets a $25 shopping spree. And then through Stampin' Up, she gets another $50, or is it 50? I think it is. is it, I was gonna double check on that, but I'm about positive it's $50 in free product, right? And then the next step is $1,800 in sales, which everybody knows that's bronzy Lee. You get a 25% discount off of all your orders. So it's a great time to do that as kind of as quickly as possible when you buy the starter kit. Um, so in terms of quick start, if you do that within your first full six months. So again, in Jenny's case, she bought the kit in February. So we've got March, April, May, June, July, August, right? So by August 31st, if she has $1,800 in sales, she will reach Bronzy Lee, get that 25% discount on all of her orders. I actually give her a $50 shopping spree through me and Stampin' Up gives her $100 in free 
product. So it's a great, great thing if you get the starter kit and just dive right in, start either putting orders in, doing classes, whatever you need to do to help get those um, sales rolling. Tell your friends and family um, that you have this Stampin' Up! demonstratorship and you'd love to share what you're doing with them. So yeah, so anyway, congratulations to Jenny because she is on her way to possibly meeting that first and maybe even second quick start level. So congratulations, Jenny. Um... What do I want to talk about now? Actually, I meant to say this earlier, so I'm going to um, bounce back to this because I want to make sure, I believe next, excuse me, next week, the um, retiring lists are going to be coming out. So I want to do another quick reminder. I know I did this a couple weeks ago, but I love for people to know that are in colors. So this is Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray, Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, Purple Posy. These colors are all going away, ladies. So if you love, I love to show this to the ribbon, right? So if you love any of this, um, the scalloped edge linen ribbon. Yeah, scalloped linen ribbon. Hey, I had that. <laughs> I did pretty well on that. If you love the ribbon, make sure you order this. If you need cardstock, the ink pad, the ink refills, the markers, the blends, um, the little butterfly embellishments, if you want any of those things, they're all going away. Next week in that, when that retired list comes out, um, <clears throat> those things will sell out very quickly. The one thing I did just see on the Stampin' Up! website, so this, the pretty pinky color, this Rococo Rose, they said that cardstock is almost sold out in this color. And at first I thought, oh my gosh, it's gonna be like, you know, you're not even gonna be able to order it. But they actually do have one more shipment coming in, but there's gonna be a period of time once they sell out with what they have that it will be not orderable. And then when it comes back in, it'll be orderable, but I'm sure it'll go super fast. So I will try to keep my eyes and ears open for that so that if you need the Rococo, excuse me, the Rococo Rose cardstock and you haven't ordered it and you can't order it because it becomes not orderable, there's going to be this little window of time that it will be orderable. So don't let that happen to you with any of these other colors, right? So just order it right now and then avoid any hassle of trying to get those things um, before they're gone forever, okay? So, but kind of excited about the retiring lists coming out because then that means our next annual catalog is right around the corner too. So I'll be sharing more um, about that. Let's see, what are we like mid-March, right? So end of March, the retiring lists come out, um, <clears throat> excuse me, early April, I think April 1st, um, as demonstrators, we can start ordering um, out of the new annual catalog. Another great reason to get the starter kit because you can always pre-order before anybody else can if you're a demonstrator. And then I think it's May 3rd, customers will be able to start ordering from our new annual catalog. So some good fun stuff coming up. In the meantime though, and this is different, the mini catalog is January to June mini catalog. So this, where is it? Right over here. Um, let me make sure. I know it says January to June, right? So I guess you ought to trust that. These products are all good. Whoa, let me see. I need glasses on to see that. Um, yep, June 30th. Yeah, okay. So anything in this mini catalog is available until June 30th. So a little bit different because usually they were kind of coinciding um, with end dates there where the mini catalog and the annual catalog ended both at the end of May, but this one's gonna go actually through June. So you still got some time um, in here, right? Retiring lists for that will probably come out like the end of May, I'm thinking. And so they'll, you know, we'll get into like all of that craziness um, end of May too. So yeah, all right, good things to know. Um, let's see. So we will do our next drawing, right? But I do just want to mention if you're new to Facebook Live, I do um, show you projects every single week. So this week we're going to show the butterfly bouquet. I was trying to remember butterfly what? Butterfly bouquet um, suite in our projects. Last time we showed the You Are Amazing project kit and I just loved all these fun bright cards in this kit. So I'll kind of recap. So I made four different cards with that super cute kit. There's a stamp set that you buy separately and then the kit gives you all the parts and pieces to make all four of those cards and four of each of them. So it's 16 different cards 
in the card kit, right? So if you put in an online order between our last Facebook Live and Wednesday at midnight, St. Patrick's Day, Wednesday at midnight, and free shipping. Hopefully you guys took advantage of free shipping on Wednesday too. Um, anyway, if you put an order in through me and use the host code, uh, spent at least $30, you are going to get all four of these cards mailed to you as a thank you. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win the jar of flower stamp set. We're going to do that drawing in just a moment. And also, if you bumped your order up to $50, you got to pick from our embellishment for March, which are the champagne rhinestones or the 16 project demo design dream team PDF tutorial. Now, the one fun thing about the tutorial this month is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting like a little tickle in my throat. Um, we focused on techniques. So there are 16 different techniques in here. So kind of fun, different, like beyond like this, just the traditional stamping and die cutting and bow making and all of that. We've got some fun extra additional techniques in this PDF tutorial this month. So again, you get to pick from either the uh, free embellishment or the PDF tutorial if you spend over $50 with me and use the host code. So anyway, lots and lots of good stuff to give away there. Um, so let's go ahead and do our drawing for our jar of flowers stamp set. So again, any of the names that are in this little basket here are automatically going to get the four cards. And now we're going to draw one person, one lucky person will win that jar of flowers stamp set. So let's see, it is going to go to, I just looked over, my dog Stormy is sitting in the sitting in the chair, the sun's shining in on him. Isn't it funny how dogs always do that? They find that little spot on the ground or wherever um, where the sun is shining and they sit right in it. Okay, so, oh, congratulations, Miss Kathy Hilliard is the winner of the Jar of Flowers stamp set. So, Miss Kathy, I will get that sent right out to you along with those four fun cards as well. All right, let's get that out of the way, yes. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live drawing, we are going to give away, this is the beautiful Queen Anne's Lace stamp set. So sorry, we've got the glare today with the beautiful sun, right? So we've got, I know you have the strength to get through this. Um, that's a beautiful sentiment, right? Hello, friend. I like that one too. Celebrating all of the wonderful, celebrating all the wonderful things about you. Oh, that's awesome, right? And then um, some of the actual Queen Anne's lace right there with some layering, right? So you could stamp one, um, you know, do that stamp and then kind of overlay it. So it's a little bit of a two-step stamping stamp set there. Then we've got best wishes, thanks, and, um, and I'll be right. Oh, let's see. I know you have the strength to get through this. And I'll be right by your side, is what that one says right there, too. So awesome stamp set. Love the sentiments in that stamp set, right? So this is what we will give away at our next Facebook Live if you use the um, host code. I will give you that just a little bit. And you guys know it's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so let's see. Do I have anything else to show you guys? Um, I'm going to show you real quick. It is beautiful, isn't it? Lovely, a lovely set. I agree, Miss Philomena. Um, the ice cream corner class to go. I have to get a sip of water. My throat is, there's something going on. Hmm. Excuse me, I don't know what it is. Okay, so ice cream corner class to go. Today is the last day to RSVP, ladies. So hopefully um, you have done that, or if you haven't, make sure you do it today, right? Because I'm gonna be ordering for it and then cutting and prepping. Um, so I'll just show you the cards real quick. We always make two of each of them. So if you fall in love with these cards and you think you wanna make them, we've got a couple of different options for you. I will include the link to the details on these cards. Um, um, I always say this, so up above the Facebook Live video, after we're done here, I'll put a bunch of links up there and one of them, <laughs> hello, Mr. Mike, I knew you were gonna pop on at some point. <laughs> and no, so the funny thing is this little thing pops up and says he wants to be on the video. And I warned him, if you hop on here, I might just have to like bring you on the video, but I'm not gonna do that because now I'm too scared of what, <laughs> of what he might do. Anyway, so if you guys are interested in getting one of this class to go. Like I said, the link will be above this video after I get it posted. It's also on my blog always at gatheringinspiration.com. Um, I've been emailing about it too. So if you're not on my email list, that's another great reason to get onto my email list, right? 
And um, yeah, just let me know or I'm, you know, email me, whatever, call, text if you have any questions on it. I would be happy to get one of those to-go kits sent out to you. But today's the last day to RSVP. There's also the PDF tutorial. So if you want to buy everything on your own and cut and prep and do all that, all, uh, you know, do your own thing. The PDF tutorial is always available. It's always $15. It's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Up at the top, um, one of them says like PDF store, one of the little tabs up there. So just click on that and it'll take you to the link to actually buy that PDF tutorial anytime. So even after the RSVP deadline passes, you can get my PDF tutorials. And that's true of all of my PDF tutorials that are on my blog, okay? And another cool thing, if you are one of my team members in Expired Stamper, you can get those PDF tutorials for free anytime. So even the past ones from like years and years ago, because I still have them, my computer has not failed me yet, right? Um, so yeah, you can get any of those past PDF tutorials. It's funny, as I'm saying that, I'm like, I need to back up my computer because if I lose all those tutorials, I'm going to be freaking out. Okay, I probably like totally jinxed myself there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to make a note. I Like seriously, I'm like worrying about this now. Okay. I think we are good. So yeah, let's, um, okay, let me clean this up just a moment here. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So Turn your heads away for a sec. We're flying through the air. Hello, Miss Pam. Welcome. I'm glad you can hang out with us today. Okay, turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. We are going to flip the camera down. Okay, I think everything's all right. Thank you for the share too, Pam. Oh, you guys want to see my, my happy St. Patrick's Day balloon? Storm was so um, caught off guard by it. Am I going to be able to do this? Can you see? There, you can kind of see it, right? Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yeah, we had a fun St. Patrick's Day, that is for sure. Okay, I didn't really mean it. It's like hooked to my um, mount, so I wasn't even really realizing. Ooh, look at that glare. Wow. Okay, we are going to have to um, pull the table over for sure. Sorry, there's like, we've got a lot going on here. Okay, hold on, i got to... I'm dragging the table along so we can lose that. Okay, there we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, here is our host code. I'll give you guys that. So this is the code that you're going to want to use if you put in an online order this month. So the month of, what are we in? Fe February? No, we're in March. The CX HUG, H-U-G-X-U-P is the code you want to use if you order online at stampinup.com through me. Okay, all right. So well, here, we'll put that right there. <laughs> Sharon, your name has popped up like three more times. Sharon Greening is watching. Sharon Greening is watching. <laughs> hey, Susie, how are you? Better late than never. That's what we say around here, right? And you can always rewind and watch later too. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so I want to show you guys. I think I mentioned. Um, yeah. Okay, so again, we're going to play with the Butterfly Bouquet suite of products. So yes, they say exclusive and early release products for you, available from March 2 until May 3rd. So again, we have the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set, the Brilliant Wings dies. I didn't mention, but we did use on one of our um, make and takes at the meeting, and this is called the Natural Touch Specialty Designer Series Paper. So it's hard to see on there. I'll show you. Um, yeah, it's hard to see right there, right? Um, little wood grain, and it's actually kind of textured. Like when you run your finger over the paper, it kind of has almost like a wood grain feel to it, right? I try to put an X through the paper because that's not available anymore, but that's all right. Okay, so let me show you. These were our make and takes uh, from our Inkspired Stampers meeting. Was that, that was just on Monday this week. Boy, I don't know, my head is like all over the place. So that was one that we made. We've got this pretty thank you. And so this is one of those, the stamp we used. Actually, I should point that out, right? So this is the stamp, and then we just colored it, the butter, the big six butterfly, right? So this stamp right here. We stamped those just like that, and then that would be that one right there that then we colored in with our Bermuda Bay blends. Um, back actually over on this one, you can see the detail. This is one of the Butterfly Wings dies. Um, and then the detail there. Oh good, you got the stamp set and the dies. Awesome, Susie, I'm so excited for you. Then this one uses some of the designer series paper. This is actually um, the little, the Butterfly Duet Punch. This is one of the dies. Can you see it's probably that little guy right there? 
on there. And then this one, and this one is similar to what I'm gonna show you guys, because um, I did, a, I made a little change to it, and I thought, ooh, I can't wait to show you guys. So this is the other one with the designer series paper. This is another one of the stamps. You can see that one right there, and this time we colored it in with uh, Daffodil Delight ink, and then actually we also used the background. So this stamp right here, inked it up in So Saffron, and stamped it all over the card as well. So beautiful make and takes that we had for our meeting. And then I also like to make cards for the top five sellers in my Inkspired Stampers group. So um, I had die cut a bunch of these for another project I was working on. So I don't wanna like highlight that too much, but there was a really pretty piece of designer series paper in that paper pack that sold out. And this die fit right over, which one? That's probably that one right there. Yeah, so there was paper that had all six of these butterflies. You put the die right over it. And I think I used this yellow one. This was a big yellow one I used on projects. And so I had all these others cut out. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to find something fun. So I just made this super simple, little wildly grateful for you card for my top five sellers um, in my Inkspired Stampers group. So just a beautiful suite of products. What I will show you though, and you guys can kind of see this, right? Um, so for example, because like I said, the paper is not available any longer, but if you look kind of at the colors um, and just kind of the look on here, I thought that these were kind of good substitutes. You could find a way to work these in. So for example, the Whale of a Time Designer Series paper, because some of this just, um, you know, some of it has like fish and whales, but others is just a little bit more um, of like a sea kind of scene. You can see some of these here too. So I think any of this paper would work on those projects. I think the Playing with Patterns Designer Series paper could be kind of fun. You could substitute as well. We've got both of those. And then the Flowers for Every Season, um, designer series paper would be yet another one that you could use with some of these pretty sunflowers and things. If you think of like, you know, butterflies flying through like flowers, sunflowers, um, you kind of get the idea, right? I think you could definitely make these colors and patterns work on any of these cards or the couple of cards that I'm going to demonstrate right now as well. Okay, so let's scoot these things out of the way. And okay, I'm like pulling everything apart to show you guys. Hmm. All right, which one are we gonna do first? We are gonna do, okay. So yeah, similarly to this card that we did as our make and take, I saw, you know, I've seen people with the black butterfly and I thought it was so striking. And I just happened to cut one out and then this card was sitting on my table and I was like, oh, what will it look like if you put the black butterfly over top of this? And I loved how it turned out. So this is the card I'm actually gonna make for you guys today. Again, featuring that beautiful black dye on there as well. Okay, so let's get our things out that we need. Right? <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm kind of talking to myself here. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let me give you some dimensions and then we'll talk about how I made this project. Okay, so this is So Saffron, um, des not designer series paper, but a piece of cardstock. So Saffron cardstock. You guys know, I always love to show this, right? So eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. We took it along the 11 inch side and we cut it at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. And we're just gonna fold it just like that to make our nice crisp fold on our card, okay? Next we have, this is really the only other piece, our piece of designer series paper. And again, any of those other pattern papers that I mentioned, the whale of a time, I should have kept them out playing with patterns. And flowers for every season I think any of those because it's just kind of a nice little background right so or if you have this paper great we've got three inches by four inches and that's just going to fit right over top of there and then I basically have scraps of basic black some vellum and some whisper white for our sentiment because I already did my stamping I showed you guys this a minute ago um, because I want to ink up again and stamp the so saffron ink right on there so I thought I would ink this stamp up with my black memento ink. I already did that already. Stamped it right on here, and then we'll do our die cutting, okay? So why don't we do that before I get anything more out on this table and have to move it all away? 
Let's do our die cutting. We're gonna die cut these butterflies right here, and then we're also gonna do that detailed black butterfly, okay? And then we can put things together. I'll show you how it's all going to come together. Okay, so we're gonna to have to crank this through a couple of times. I will show you. Okay, so here we have all of the detailed butterflies. I'm going to find my glasses and put them back on because this takes a moment. It totally fits, but there's usually a moment of like, oh, is it going to fit for me anyway? Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. So isn't that cool? One die cuts all of those butterflies out. All right. So sorry. That's like a shake and fool right there for a moment. Okay. All right, so we've got all of these. So then these just pop right out. Can you guys see that? My arm's probably in the way a little bit, isn't it? Isn't that awesome though, right? There, so we just pop all those babies out and then this is what we have left, okay? Then we're gonna scoot these out of the way. And so the fun thing is then you can like, you can find all other kinds of projects. So we're gonna use this one right here. We're gonna color this guy, but then you've got five other butterflies that you can use for who knows what projects, right? Okay, now I want my black cardstock and my detailed dies. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought I moved them somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna use the big butterfly right here, but look at all of the other, so many beautiful details there. Okay, so we're gonna crank this guy through and you'll see, I'm gonna go back and forth. I got super lucky the other day when I designed this card. Um, and I'm like, I wonder if it'll happen again for us today. But I picked, like I picked the die up. Yeah. Okay. And then it was kind of like magic. Like I felt like I picked this thing up and every single, it's not quite going to happen, but so many of those um, just, it was last time they all just stayed right on the little cutting platform. This time I got a couple I gotta poke out, but really not too bad. So I do think when you crank that back and forth a few times, sorry, could you even see that? I was too intent on making sure I got those. I don't know, can you see? Isn't that cool? There's something about that. It's so striking, that dark, the black on there. And I feel like I'm going to need, um, am I gonna use this again? Yeah, I am. So I'm gonna clean this off right now attempt to. Yes, it is beautiful, isn't it, Philomena? Have you had a chance to get it yet? I hope. Um, like I said, these, even if they go on back order, they're going to be in the catalog, so not to worry on the dies. There, okay. Let's get all of that out of the way for now. Okay, done with the big shot for the moment, those little black pieces. You know, some of those detailed dies, they do make a mess. Okay, so next I want to ink that baby up. I'm trying to find, I've got my, you know, I like to keep my, this grid paper very pristine. So I pull out my little <laughs> baby grid paper so that we can stamp because we're gonna ink this guy up in so saffron ink and then stamp it on the full front of the cardstock. Ooh, let's see, she's saying I've made some cards and we'll try Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, Philomena, you missed the paper, huh? Well, you know, like I said, that's all right. I mean, I think I already said it. I was bummed. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Am I going to show these projects still on Facebook Live? And I thought, well, enough people obviously have ordered the paper, so I'm going to show them in case you have the paper. And if not, we've got those other papers that are good substitutions. So, and there's, you know, there's so much more good stuff to come to with our next annual catalog. So I don't know. I wish I had a trick for you on how to um, do that <laughs> because it's, it's almost like you don't want to get your finger in the way. I don't know if anybody else has a trick, um, what they do. Oops. And you know what? That happens sometimes where I'm not even going to have any stamp. It's not even going to have any ink down there. But honestly, on this card right here. I didn't have the stamp. It wasn't over very far, but you can't even tell now, right? So 
Um, yeah. Oh, good, Philomena. I'm glad. Yeah. I think you can find some other things that will work with the butterflies, right? Yeah. So it's funny because that was going to probably annoy me that it didn't stand down at the bottom. But once you get everything on here, you don't even notice that little blank space down there. So yeah, I don't really have a good trick for, <laughs> for doing that. And then, oh yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Share the Stamparatus. <laughs> yeah. Or, oh, Nikki, that's true. You can make your own DSP with the butterflies. Yes, that's true. You can just stamp right on. Yeah, that's awesome. Kind of like this, right? And then you maybe could use different colors too. Oh, very good idea. Love it. See, lots of workarounds. Okay, next I want to, um, and you know, maybe I should have colored this in before I die cut it, and it's too late for that now. So I'm going to try to, and this, um, the tip on this is a little squishy. So I'm going to just color um, kind of in as much as I can and then I'm going to come back and use the other tip because I am not trusting myself with this squishy fat end <laughs> of um, the marker. But you can see, I mean, we're not, you don't even need to do any um, like highlighting or shading um, with this one because you're just gonna put that black right over top of it. And honestly, it's funny, like, do I really even need to? I probably don't even really, let's see. I bet you won't even, you can't even tell, right? Yeah, oh, look at that, I'm done coloring. It doesn't even matter if I went around the edges, right? Because you're gonna lay that black piece over top of it. Who will even know, right? Yay, look at that. So that was super quick and easy. Okay, while we have these pieces out, I am going to just, yeah, because even like right in here, I didn't color it at all, but that black piece on the butterfly is completely going to cover that. So we just want to, I'm using my little silicone mat here because I don't like to get adhesive all over my grid paper. And if you get adhesive kind of in between there, you can. it's almost like you can kind of roll it up um, and onto where you do want it. Ooh, check that out, huh? So now there's just something about that, like that bright yellow popping out behind there. So pretty, huh? Okay, so there's that. Now, let's see, I think we can add, sorry, I'm like all askew here. Okay, so we're gonna add our designer series paper. Again, any piece of three by four DSP that kind of matches your color scheme, I think would work just fine on that for that idea right there right next we are going to I've got just this little piece of vellum with my two and a quarter inch circle punch this reminds me too you guys know this right when I make these projects I will give you all of the um, the item codes the names of everything I used um, the dimensions will all be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon after I get everything uploaded to my blog okay so not to, to worry there you will have that resource very shortly. Okay, I just added, where'd my butterflies go? I couldn't remember if I added them. And you guys know this, right? Um, the blends definitely bleed through, so you always wanna use some kind of a work surface um, when you are working with your blends so that it doesn't bleed through onto your good table, right? Okay, I'm gonna add a dimensional behind this guy, maybe two. Right, we'll put that one there and there. You don't want to see it behind the vellum, so I don't put it anywhere where you might be able to see those, right? So next we can peel those little babies off. And we're going to just put that maybe right about there. Now the fun thing is that you can kind of, once this is adhered down, you can kind of make it look like it's flying a little bit more, right? Isn't that so pretty? Oh, you know what? I forgot. We're going to have to stamp and die cut one more thing, but that's okay. So my one of my favorite stamp sets that was released with our annual catalog last year, and I'm hoping this one continues, there's just something about, I always love the kind of mixed fonts with the kind of um, almost typewriter look with then the kind of cursive. So this one we happen to use um, Cherished Friend, which is right here, but I love so many of these sentiments, right? The lovely you sentiment. So we've got love is what makes us family, miles apart, but still in my heart, cherished friend, trust me, you're lovely, smile, let's cheer you up, heartfelt, 
wildly grateful, you're my person just because and always. And then just some kind of fun floral imagery that you can kind of add accents um, to this. So, oh, Susan, thank you. I'm glad you like that layout. Um, I saw it, I'm sure, somewhere. Um, and I, I thought I like that layout too, because it's something a little bit different. I'm not, um, I'm usually pretty symmetrical in my card making. So this was like, woo, I'm getting kind of crazy with like, you know, off to the side there, right? So, okay. Yeah. So let's grab, where is my, I feel like I have everything all over the place. It's actually right here in front of me. So here's my stamp. Oh my God. If you guys could see, this is definite craft or math and we're not even done. I'm like kind of panicking. Like, am I going to be able to keep myself organized here? I hope so. A little smudge on there. So we're going to flip this one over. So, and I am just going to, there we go. So cherished friend in our black memento ink. You saw I pressed pretty firmly because that ink pad um, is a little bit more firm than what we normally have. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. You guys don't even see this. You're like, what the heck is she laughing at? Okay, so we're going to use, these are the Tasteful Labels dies. One of my absolute favorite die sets. Another, I'm probably going to say this a million times, right? I really stamp it up. I know it's too late, but I sure hope that you carry these label dies over into our next annual catalog because they're just so versatile. I use these things all the time, kind of to the point where I think I have pretty much one of each of these cut out um, and on my my craft table so whenever I go to make anything I like grab and like does that fit does that fit does that fit and then I can decide which one I even want to use before I um you know actually make it for my project so kind of it's a handy tip though to have if you do you guys understand what I'm saying like I have these all cut out and just there to use to kind of for placement and sizing so and then layering too like you know you can kind of layer some of these things together so that's great a great resource just have that sitting on your craft table so you can figure out which one fits best on the project you're working on. Okay, so we're just going to die cut this baby real quick. So cherished friend, here we go. Oops. You're going to be wingy today for me. Just stay there, please. Although I do have more white cardstock, so if it were to move, I could always... Yes, like a template! <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. You are always so helpful. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Yes, template. Perfect word. They're like templates. Just have them on your craft table. <laughs> okay, so we've got cherished friend. We're going to put a couple of dimensionals behind this. And then our last step is to just add some bling. You guys know I love to add a little bit of sparkle, right? Add a little bit of sparkle wherever you go, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna just try to do this with my fingers. I wanted my butterfly to be a little bit sparkly, so I put a couple right there. I think it kind of draws you too. So the nice thing is if you don't press too firmly, you can move those wherever you like. Then I had to put a couple down below at the sentiment. All right, so we did that one and that one. Okay, those two go there. And then we have this one here, and I put one more just kind of off there. Okay, so just love to kind of sprinkle those all around on the card. And what do you guys think? Very pretty, huh? I love, there's just, this is just so striking, I think, that black with that bright yellow popping out behind it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. And, you know, sometimes I try to clean up. Oh my gosh, this is like a whirlwind over here. It's just gonna stay just the way it is and I will deal with it later. Okay, so here is our next project. So similarly, I think I mentioned that there is a piece of designer series paper that you can cut six different butterflies out with that big butterfly die that is kind of hiding, right? So I think I this one was a big yellow one. So I again had like five other butterflies. Um, so maybe they'll come up with like another um, pack of paper, something similar. But so that was that one. Actually use these. And that's the blue and that's the green. So there was one more. Oh yeah, I think I used them on my cards for my top five. Yeah. So there was the blue. So the blue right there, the green, the yellow, the pink. And I put the pink one on the inside there. Um, there was one more I must have used on something. And I don't even have any more of that paper, so I can't even show you guys. 
Um, but again, I don't want to tease you too much either. So, okay. You can do, you can have the same effect though if you um, stamp the big butterfly stamp, right? If you do this, stamp it, and then you can color it yourself, you get the kind of the same idea um, as what you might see online too, right? If you didn't get the paper. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna make this card now. I'm actually, I ran out of blue, so this time we're gonna put a green butterfly on there, and then I've got my little kind of orangey, and then my pink for the inside, okay? So we'll scoot these all away. Do not need those. Okay, I've got my note. I'm gonna just say it right now because, uh, yeah, you can see my little sticky note right here too. So these are some of the in-color embellishments. Let's put those down there. So these are the 2020, 2022 in-colors. And sometimes the ribbon and embellishments from the last year's in-colors retire and sometimes they don't. So. Um, I would say if you love these little in-color enamel dots, I would order them sooner than later just to be safe in case um, these don't carry over because sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, right? And let's see. Um, oh, yeah, Nikki, that she's. I was just wanting to um, see her comment that she was thinking maybe they come up with some other paper since it's in the new catalog. There's probably going to be something that coordinates um, with this suite also. I sure am hoping anyway, so yeah. I agree. Okay, so let me tell you about dimensions on this card. So one of my favorite colors, especially for summertime, is this um, Coastal Cabana, right? So here, uh, let's flip it this way so it's a little less distracting, right? Here is our piece of eight and a half by 11 Coastal Cabana cardstock. So this time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? And actually we scored it again too. This is not scored at all though, oopsie daisy. I'm gonna run and go get that and I'll show you. One sec, let me go grab my little scoring plate. Okay. Yeah, boy I popped this in my little tub and forgot to do that. Okay, so we are gonna score this at two and three quarters, okay? And then also at five and a half. There we go, okay. So we're gonna fold it this way, and then we're gonna fold it back, okay? So that's gonna be the idea on there, right? Okay, get that little baby out of the way, okay. Oh, thank you, Vina. I'm glad that you like that card. And yes, fun folds, right? I just can't stop doing them. It's like I have to do one like every other week or so these days. Okay. Oh, look, I already had all my butterflies out. Okay. Well, now I have another set of them. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right. Okay. So we also have... Okay, so get the butterflies out of the way. We have, this is just a piece, an extra piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock to do this die cutting. This is an actual piece um, already cut and ready to go, Whisper White cardstock that measures two and a half by three and five eighths, okay? Um, this is a piece of designer series paper that's gonna go right on there that measures four inches by two and a half. And then we have this one that goes right inside there, that measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? So this and this and this are all, we're just gonna keep these. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm glad you ordered an extra pack of paper too, Miss Susan, good for you, very cool. Okay, so that piece is for that die cutting right there too. So let's go ahead and do the die cutting on both of these things, because I think that's it. We need that one and that one and then, we can kind of put things together here. Uh, let's see. That's the one that says cherished friend that I used on the other card. So this is what I need next. Okay. All right, because this uses the same die, I'm gonna have to crank this through a couple times. Okay, because it's the exact same size. These are another favorite, hopefully these continue as well, that's stitched so sweetly 
dies. So this is the scallop rectangle. We're going to use the largest scallop rectangle in there. Okay. So we'll put this on our white cardstock first. And run this through. So sometimes I would um, stamp and then die cut, but this one I want to be able to place my stamp exactly where I want it. Boy, my plates are really a mess. I ordered some new ones. If you can tell, there's like a big crack right there too, but you kind of have to like dust, dust your paper off after you do your die cutting. Put that right on there. You notice it more on the Whisper White, definitely. So if I were smart, I would have like a really good pair that I only use for my Facebook Lives, um, but apparently I'm not that on the ball. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> All right, I think we're good with our die cutting. Let's just crank that, get that out of the way. All right. Clean that baby off a little bit. All right, let's do our stamping, because I there's something about, so our basic white cardstock, um, especially with the black ink. And this is one of my favorite sentiments, the trust me, you're lovely. I love that sentiment. Okay, but yeah, this, the black, and you guys see I'm kind of pounding. This linen ink pad, you do need to um, press a little bit more firmly than you would, like you wouldn't ever do. You wouldn't press that hard with our firm foam ink pads. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, but yeah, so I still worry about the smear factor. So we're gonna stamp that and just set that aside and come back to it in a little bit. So let's put, some of our other, oh, I totally did that wrong. Okay, well, so that's the one that goes on the inside of our card. I kept looking at like, what am I gonna do with this one? Well, I think I'm gonna be able to cover that right up. <laughs> yeah, whoops. So I didn't leave quite as much room as I need. Okay, wow, all right, that's okay though, okay. So we're gonna stamp, trust me, you're lovely on this piece of Whisper White cardstock now, because that's the one we really wanted to stamp on, ladies. Okay, I wonder if anybody else was seeing that and going, no, stop, don't do that. <laughs> oh, well, okay, there we go. Back in business. Okay, we'll just move that there. Okay, let's, let's add our designer series paper. Want to, ladies? Okay, so here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna add, Oh, and this was one thing I hadn't done before either. Um, I saw this idea on Pinterest to um, put designer series paper back here. All right, so I, I love that idea. And then actually, while we're here, why don't we just do this, right? Because I think, so I, I'll tell you guys, I put this card together and then I was like, oh, let's do the DSP and then this piece. And I was trying to make sure that it lined up properly. And I'd already done this one with the scallopy edges, and so trying to get this one lined up behind it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. So I'm thinking if I do it the opposite way, if I put the white one down first, then it'll be easier to line things up, I hope, anyway. We shall see, this piece is gonna go right on there, okay? I'm also going to grab my butterfly and we will cover up the mix up trust me you're lovely good thing that fits on there just right so you've still got a little bit of room to write your sentiment on there right okay now okay this is what i was talking about it's basically like i want to adhere that you know and that's going to be a lot easier too i'm going to be able to make sure yeah okay get that lined right up without any problem at all okay so we're going to press down really firmly there the main thing is over here trying to get the scallops and the edges kind of, right? I think that looks pretty good, right? Okay, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get there. <laughs> yeah, I got really lucky, Philomena. That wasn't necessarily a good save. That was like super duper lucky there. <laughs> yes, well, I'm gonna call it my lucky day. Why not? Right, right around St. Patrick's Day, lucky day, okay. So that piece is gonna go there. Then we've got our butterflies. And these I did kind of bend a little bit and um, put some dimensionals behind. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do a big one there and let's do a baby one. That gives us more room to bend these things. Okay, that one. 
that one. Okay, so we're going to put this one right there and that one right there. And then once they're adhered, right, then you can bend them. I love to make them look like they're really flying. Okay, so last step. And what do you guys think? I like both colors on here too, right? The blue or the green. <laughs> yes, thank you, Nikki. Still counts. All right, I'm glad you guys are with me on this. You know, you just do the best you can these days. All right, what do we got here? So our 2020, 2022 in color enamel dots that I was joking with the gals at my um, group meeting that I don't know why I have a hard time saying 2022. It's too much 2020 20s or something. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. I went to like move my hair and I caught the um the camera mount. Sorry, sorry, ladies. Okay, so we are just gonna add a couple of these little babies. Um yeah, I should just be using something. I don't know. I tend to just use my fingers, to be honest. Uh maybe put that one right there. There we go. Okay. Trust me, your lovely favorite sentiment right there. Okay, so there we go. Another fun set of cards for you today. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the projects that we got to share together today. Uh, there is the host code that you're going to want to use. If you would like to order through me, you will get one of each of these cards. Sorry, they're like the flippy dippy all over the place, right? You will get one of each of these cards sent to you as a thank you for ordering through me when you use the host code. Your name is gonna go in the drawing next week for the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set, right? $30 order minimum, that's all you need to do. And then if you bump your order up to over $50, you get to pick from either of these, the Demo Design Dream Team TD PDF tutorial that has 16 different techniques in it this month, or the beautiful Champagne Rhinestones. So love to be, to show my appreciation for your orders because I do truly appreciate those. That's what helps me continue on um, sharing the Facebook Lives with you. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have a great weekend wherever you are. I hope the sun is shining for you like it is here in Michigan for us this weekend. And I hope life is good. Thanks, guys. Bye, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>